Hello, this is Abu Zar from Concepts channel. In this video, we find the minimum height of N node M array trees. That is also maximum lower bound for height of M array tree. Please subscribe to this channel to watch and learn more about conceptual problems. M array tree is a hierarchical tree where each node has at most M children. N node M array tree is a M array tree that has N number of nodes. Root node is top node of the M array tree that has no parent. Leaf node is the node of the M array tree that has no children. As an example, the left side tree is a two array tree that is also called binary tree. In binary tree, each node has at most two children. The middle tree is a three array tree that is also called ternary tree. Each node in ternary tree has at most three children. The right side tree is a four array tree. In four array tree, each node has at most four children. A depth is a set of nodes that have equal edge distances from root. Each node in depth D has exactly D edge distances from root. As an example, each node in depth Two has exactly two edge distances from root. The height of the M array tree is the length of the longest path between root and any other node of the M array tree. The nodes in the maximum depth of the M array tree have largest edge distances from root. Thus, Height of M array tree is equal to maximum depth of the M array tree. We show that minimum height of N node M array trees where M is larger or equal to 2 is ceiling of log base M of M minus 1 times N plus 1 minus 1. In other words, we show that the height of a M array tree with N nodes is larger or equal to ceiling of log base M of M minus 1 times N plus 1 minus 1. Where ceiling of X is the smallest integer larger than or equal to X. As an example, let us consider a 9-node binary tree. The height of this binary tree is equal to its maximum depth that is equal to 3. In binary tree, m is equal to 2. Substituting m with 2 and n with 9 in the equation for minimum height of n-node m array trees, we have the minimum height of 9 node binary trees is equal to ceiling of log base 2 of 2 minus 1 times 9 plus 1 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 times 9 plus 1 is 10. Log base 2 of 10 is 3.32 and ceiling of 3.32 is equal to 4. Thus, minimum height of 9 node binary trees is equal to 4 minus 1, that is equal to 3. Height of this binary tree is equal to 3. Also, we obtained minimum height of 9 node binary trees is also equal to 3. Thus, this 9 node binary tree is one of the 9 node binary trees that has minimum height. As another example, let us consider a 7 node ternary tree with height equal to 3. 
internary trees m is equal to 3 substituting m with 3 and n with 7 the minimum height of 7 node ternary trees is calculated as ceiling of log base 3 of 3 minus 1 times 7 plus 1 minus 1 3 minus 1 is 2 2 times 7 plus 1 is 15 log base 3 of 15 is 2.46 and ceiling of 2.46 is 3 thus minimum height of 7 node ternary trees is equal to 3 minus 1 that is equal to 2 height of this ternary tree is equal to 3 we obtained minimum height of 7 node ternary trees is equal to 2 thus this ternary tree does not have the minimum height of 7 node ternary trees. As another example, let us consider a 7 node ternary tree with height equal to 2. In the previous example, we calculated minimum height of 7 node ternary trees is equal to 2. Height of this ternary tree is equal to 2 that is also equal to minimum height of 7 node ternary trees. Thus, this 7 node ternary tree is one of the 7 node ternary trees that has minimum height. Please pause this video now and take a paper and pen and try to find the minimum height of n node m array trees by yourself. As a hint, show that maximum number of nodes that can be placed in depth D of the M array tree is M to the power of D. Sum up all the nodes in all depths and use the inequality for maximum depth capacity. Show that total number of nodes is less than or equal to m to the power of 0 plus m to the power of 1 up to m to the power of h. Use the equation for sum of first n terms of geometric sequence. Show that total number of nodes is less than or equal to m to the power of h plus 1 minus 1 divided by m minus 1. Rearrange the terms and take logarithm base m from both sides of this recent inequality to find the minimum height of n node m array trees. Let us consider the case where m is equal to 1. A 1 array tree is a single path passing through all nodes of the tree. The height of 1 array tree is equal to its maximum depth that is equal to n minus 1. We find the minimum height of n node m array trees for m larger or equal to 2. Let us denote n of d as the number of nodes that are placed at depth d of m array tree. In video that is published in this channel with the title node capacity of a depth in a m array tree, we used induction and showed that maximum number of nodes that can be placed in depth d of the m array tree is m to the power of d. In other words, we showed that n of d is less than or equal to m to the power of d. Total number of nodes in n node m array tree with height h is equal to sum of all of the numbers of nodes in all depths. In other words, n is equal to n of 0 plus n of 1 plus n of 2 up to plus n of h minus 1 plus n of h. Using the inequality, n of d less than or equal to m to the power of d, we have n of 0 is less than or equal to m to the power of 0 that is equal to 1. n of 1 is less than or equal to m to the power of 1 up to 
n of h minus 1 is less than or equal to m to the power of h minus 1. And n of h is less than or equal to m to the power of h. Thus, we have n is less than or equal to 1 plus m to the power of 1 up to plus m to the power of h minus 1 plus m to the power of h. Note that the summation 1 plus m to the power of 1 up to plus m to the power of h minus 1 plus m to the power of h is the first h plus 1 terms of geometric sequence with initial value a equal to 1 and common ratio r equal to m. In video that is published in this channel with the title sum of the first n terms of a geometric sequence, we showed that sum of the first n terms of a geometric sequence with initial value a and common ratio r that is denoted as Sn of a and r is derived as a times r to the power of n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 when r is not equal to 1 and it is equal to n times a when r is equal to 1. Substituting n with h plus 1, a with 1, r with m in the geometric sequence summation, we have sh plus 1 of 1 and m is equal to 1 plus m to the power of 1 up to plus m to the power of h minus 1 plus m to the power of h. As we consider the case where m is larger or equal to 2, thus r is equal to m and it's not equal to 1. Using the equation for summation of the first n terms of geometric sequence, we have sh plus 1 of 1 and m is equal to 1 times m to the power of h plus 1 minus 1 divided by m minus 1. That is equal to m to the power of h plus 1 minus 1 divided by m minus 1. Therefore, we have the summation of the geometric sequence 1 plus m to the power of 1 up to m to the power of h minus 1 plus m to the power of h is equal to m to the power of h plus 1 minus 1 divided by m minus 1. We obtained n is less than or equal to 1 plus m to the power of 1 up to plus m to the power of h minus 1 plus m to the power of h. That is equal to m to the power of h plus 1 minus 1 divided by m minus 1. Therefore, we have n is less than or equal to m to the power of h plus 1 minus 1 divided by m minus 1. Let us rearrange the terms of this recent inequality to find an inequality for height of the tree based on its number of nodes. Multiplying both sides of this recent inequality by m minus 1, we have n times m minus 1 is less than or equal to m to the power of h plus 1 minus 1. Adding 1 to both sides of this recent inequality, we have n times m minus 1 plus 1 is less than or equal to m to the power of h plus 1. Taking logarithm base m from both sides of this last inequality, we get logarithm base m of n times m minus 1 plus 1 is less than or equal to h plus 1. Note that logarithm function is a strictly increasing function. Thus, the direction of the inequality does not change when we take logarithm base m from both sides of this inequality. We obtained logarithm base m of n times m minus 1 plus 1 is less than or equal to h plus 1. In other words, h plus 1 is larger or equal to log base m of n times m minus 1 plus 1. Subtracting 1 from both sides of this recent inequality, we get h is larger or equal to 
log base m of n times m minus 1 plus 1 minus 1. As h is the height of the tree, it is an integer. Thus, minimum of h is a smallest integer larger or equal to log base m of n times m minus 1 plus 1 minus 1. That is equal to ceiling of log base m of n times m minus 1 plus 1 minus 1. As minus 1 is integer, it comes out of the ceiling function. Therefore, we have minimum height of m node m array trees is equal to ceiling of log base m of n times m minus 1 plus 1 minus 1. That is also the maximum lower bound for height of n node m array tree. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel to watch and learn more about conceptual problems.